from the Pennsylvania League of Cities and Municipalities in Bethlehem. This is Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Jill Horner, and with me this hour is Philadelphia City Councilwoman Marion Tasco. Thanks for being with us. Thank you for having me. First of all, why is it important for you as a member of City Council to attend this conference? Well, I learned an awful lot. Today we had an economic development tour. Bethlehem is a beautiful city. They're doing wonderful things with some of the old brownfields. And I got some ideas that I could take back to Philadelphia. So that's really the purpose in attending this. But let's talk about one of the issues that you've actually been working on in the city of Philadelphia, and it's related to ethics reform and changing the public's perception about elected officials. That's, that's a component of what you're doing. But give us an idea as to how these reforms actually started. Well, the mayor, uh, Nutter, uh, formed a task force to look at some of the ethical issues we were dealing with and he had, we had passed the ethics bill and there were some conflict conflicts in that bill and then some things were left out so he formed this commission and asked them to put forth some recommendations which they presented to city council so after these recommendations were put forward what then were the next steps because this task force was put in place to address some of the challenges some of the gray areas mm -hmm. related to ethics and elected officials how were then these recommendations looked at, addressed, and potentially uh, put into place? Well, we first met as a, ta as a council, uh, had a, a discussion in the caucus room, looked at the recommendations, decided on the ones that we would work with, decided on the ones that we had no interest in and couldn't find support for, and some of the recommendations were already law, so we just kind of uh, uh, ended up with the ones that we thought we could work with. And then our staff began to draft legislation around the various uh, issues that we were uh, believed we could get support for. And then once we drafted them, we began a process of meeting with the um, uh, interested parties, such as the Ethics Board and the Committee of Seventy, and to go over the recommendations that we were going to put forth. Was it important to get all of these different stakeholders on board before you even put those recommendations uh, forth so that everybody had some buy-in? I thought it was extremely important because we could knock heads or we could come to common ground. And so one day I said, we're just going to meet with the ethics board. And we invited council members and their staff. We had a room full of people. And we sat down and went over each recommendation, each bill that we had introduced, and discussed it in depth, what it meant, how would it impact um, the downside, the upside. And then uh, we finished with that. And then the staff proceeded to work on each of the recommendations and we'd come back and we'd meet again and look over them. And so it was a, a, a good collaboration between particularly the ethics board and the, uh, and the uh, council. Now let's get into some of the specifics of, of what these bills actually do because it's a variety of different bills. Right. But uh, one of them is related to excess contributions. Why is that an important component? Does this relate to individual contributions? Individual contributions. and. Um, you know, we have a campaign finance law uh, passed by city council that uh, limits us to $2,500. So we had to clarify uh, that rule so people would be clear, candidates would be clear on what excess contributions would be. And so that sometimes candidates wanted to have inaugural parties or have uh, need a legal fund because if you're challenged on your petitions, you have to hire a lawyer. So we set up those those. Um, uh, contributions which would not be counted towards your limit of the $2,500, $2,600. And we just have a short time left, but a variety of, of different things included in these bills, but some of them aren't necessarily related to elected officials. They have to do with staffers and lobbyists. Well, yes, uh, the lobby uh, legislation was very important to a lot of people. They believe that um, lobbyists should register and they should uh, report how much they're giving to individual council members. The one thing that we didn't do was political activity for city employees and that's still on the drawing board and we will continue to work on that. Come back, give us an update, let us know how it's moving forward. I certainly will. Thank you. Thank you. We've been talking with Philadelphia City Councilwoman Marion Tasco. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Newsmakers.